Hey everybody, welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to modify and use Bezier curves. To start off, I'm going to delete the camera, the light, and the cube. And then I'm going to go up here towards where object mode is and click add. I'm going to scroll down to curve and click Bezier. This adds a weird kind of curve to the workspace. I'm going to go to edit mode, click A so all points are selected, right click and click delete point. This gets rid of the curve you get as a basic shape. Then I'm going to click 7 so I have a top view and I'm going to go over here to the toolbar and I'm going to scroll down until I see the draw tool. There is an annotate one that looks similar, don't click that one, click on the draw one. When you click on this, you get a little pencil, and when you draw, it creates a curve based on what you draw. Once you have the curve you want, you're going to click tab again so you're back in object mode, and you're going to go over to this toolbar, go under tool, and scroll down until you see this green curve that says data. When you click on this, you're going to look at resolution, and you're going to reduce this to different points. What this does is changes the resolution of your curve. The more resolution it has, the more definition it has. For this example, I'm going to stick with 3, but a safe bet is always 4, 5, or anything more than that. So I'm going to go with 3. I'm going to then right click, scroll down to convert to, and then click mesh. What this does is converts it from a regular curve to a mesh which is a more familiar thing to people starting with Blender. The next thing we're going to do is go back over to the toolbar and scroll down to the blue wrench called modifiers. You're going to click add modifier and then you're going to click skin. What this does is creates a 3D version of that curve that's no longer just vertices and when you're in edit mode or clicking tab you can now modify this 3D version of the curve by clicking the ends, going up to proportional editing, clicking that till it's a blue circle, clicking G to modify the radius of the proportional editing, and then clicking Control A. This allows you to modify the thickness of the curve. I'm going to click G again and extend the radius for proportional editing. There's complete customization there for you to do what you want. This is the shape I'm looking for, so I'm going to click back to object mode, go over to skin again, and I'm going to click apply. Now this is officially a new shape. But as you can notice, there's a lot of vertices, a lot more than before, and it might be difficult to render in an external program. So what I'm going to do is click the shape again, add a new modifier called the decimate modifier. When you add this, nothing visually changes, but if I go over to ratio and change this number to 0.5, it's going to half the amount of vertices in the shape. If you go down to 0.25, it'll have the quarter of the amount, and so on and so forth. I'm going to go with 0.3, so it's about 30% of the original vertices. Click apply, and when you go back into edit mode, you'll see significantly less vertices on your shape. For those of you who want to do more, you can add another modifier, you can change the proportions, do more proportional editing, and there's ways to make curves more vertical. I did not do that in this tutorial, but for a quick recap, I'll do that quick. So again, adding a Bezier curve, deleting the points, Going into top view to draw, creating a new curve. In this version, I'm going to take points, extend them up, turning off proportional editing first though. For example, this is what I'm looking for. Back down here, turn the resolution down to about three, converting to a mesh, adding a skin modifier taking the points I want to, shrinking sides, applying the modifier, applying decimate, choosing the amount of decimation I want to include, 
and then applying that. And once again, I have another shape created just like the first one. It goes to show you can create so many different things using these curves, and I hope this builds off of my last tutorial. That's all. Hopefully you learned something new. Thank you.